Today's video is made possible by Hulu Plus. For a free extended two week trial period, head over to huluplus.com forward slash TOT. Old fans, welcome back. New fans, welcome to the channel. You've arrived at Tech of Tomorrow. We're bringing you all the tech all the time. I'm Eric, your host, and today we have the Gigabyte Windforce 450 watt cooling edition of their new 780 Ti card. Now, Basically, you guys should all know what the 780 Ti is by now. It's like basically all the cores are unlocked, all 2,880 of them are all unlocked. You know, you get full three gigabytes GDR5 memory, all clocked high and everything. This is basically the card that was rumored to come out initially, but hey, now it's fully fudged out and this is the card. We've done some reviews on that already and so have a lot of other people, so you guys should by now know the basic numbers. Now the difference they're gonna be are on the cooling and the aftermarket cooling, which is the card we're gonna look at right now. Now this card features the new three fan version, 450 watts, and without any more ado, let's jump in, take a look at the card and see what it's all about. Let's go. All right, folks, first up, we have the box. Obviously, Gigabyte with the Gigabyte I. The Windforce, 450 watt out. Their OC version, three gigabytes GDR5 memory, the GeForce GTX 780 Ti. I can't waste too much time on that. You guys all know what that is. Here's the back of the box. They talk about it once again. Basically, they talk about their cooling. They talk about the Windforce 3X. There's gonna be three fans on here. They're totally adjustable for their speeds. They're made to keep your card totally running cool even when the card is overclocked. Windows 8, Windows 7, HDMI, all that good stuff. And you guys who are NVIDIA fans, you guys all know what else comes basically with an NVIDIA card. I don't need to school you. Nothing on this side of the box. Nothing on this side of the box. Pretty much nothing on this side of the box but the name. So let's just jump into the unboxing. I'm going to go ahead and just pop the top right here. Make it nice and simple. Pull it on out of there. Pop the cap. Right off the bat on the top, we see the card. Anti-static bag. We'll go ahead and pop that off the side real quick. See what else is in the box. All right. So... We've got a little cap right here that's holding the other accessories. Two Molex, two six pin, and another two Molex, two eight pin. So you get one of each. Molex to six, Molex to eight. So even if you got some old school, unfancy power supply, you'll be able to connect this bad boy up inside of your system. Gigabyte information stuff, the quick guide, graphics card quick guide. What they're telling you quickly, I don't know, but hey, it's quick guide. Here are the drivers. This will also include all of their overclocking software, all their monitoring software, and all that stuff. You guys all know that you're gonna go on the internet and get the latest driver anyways, but if you don't have access to the internet, well, this is gonna be your key ticket. Let's move on to the card, get this out of the way. All in this anesthetic package. You guys can see it's completely sealed from the factory. So we're gonna go ahead and break that virgin ceiling. You guys can now call me a true virgin killer. That's right. Pop this little thing again. Sticky tape. All right, then. Pull that card out of there. Now, check it out. Right off the bat, you guys all have claimed many times that you prefer a black PCB. Well, here you go. Completely black PCB. You guys can see there are four main points in the back of the card for removing the cooling apparatus. Up here on top, we see the two SLI fingers. Down here below, the PCI. I'm gonna flip the card around where you guys can begin to see part of the cooling. All underneath there are the aluminum heat fins. Inside there, it's kind of hard to see, but there are also copper heat pipes. More heat fins going all along. Six pin and eight pin, hence those two power converters that we saw earlier. Flip it around the backside. You guys can see it's a two slot card but it's actually pretty thin compared to some. I've seen some that are really bulky. This one's actually a little bit thinner than the other ones. Continuing along, we see the cooling. Still continuing along all the way along the card. Now, here on top, we see three separate fans. Two fans on the outside, one in the center. The center one is a little bit of a different fan, but you can also change all the different speeds and monitor this with the software. We see the Windforce nomenclature right there across the top. The card's actually 
quite cool looking. It's very well balanced. I, I like the way that it looks. It's very visually appealing. I don't even know if I would even want to pull the cooling off and put a liquid cooler on this particular car because it really does look good. And wind force cooling usually does a great job. We'll see when we get to the test, but I'm thinking it's going to do just fine. Here we get to the rear I.O. Single DVI, single DVI-D, standard HDMI, standard display port. And that's everything, folks, that comes in the box of the new GeForce GTX 780 Ti WinForce Edition from Gigabyte. Special thanks once again to Hulu Plus for making this video possible. So I know many of you PC users out there know what Hulu is, but do you guys really know what Hulu Plus is? Because Hulu Plus is like a whole different level. Hulu Plus is like taking that standard video card, slapping a water cooler on it, and getting the absolute most bang for your buck. Just all kinds of content. Now, with the standard Hulu, you can only watch it on your PC. But with Hulu Plus, baby, you can take that on the go, on your tablet but on your phone. With Hulu Plus, you can catch up on current shows, binge on old favorites, or watch a great movie. Stream as many TV shows and movies as you want, anytime, anywhere. You can also check out exclusive content, including Hulu originals like The Wrong Mans and Behind the Mask. Best of all, you can watch all of this content in HD. Now, I know a lot of people always ask, how can you guys support the site? Well, at this time, you can support the site and get your guys a free extended trial period just by going to HuluPlus.com forward slash T-O-T, where you can enjoy Hulu Plus for two weeks. So there you have it, everything that comes in the little square retail box of the new 780Ti Gigabyte WinForce 450 Watt Edition gaming video card. I'm pretty excited to get this thing on the test station. So for any of you people out there who want to get any more information on this card as far as like pricing, you guys want to check out any more information, check out the link down below the like button. We'll have that in the description where you guys can get that information. I think it's all over the internet now. If you guys are interested to buy it, I think it's like around 700 bucks. Just came out, so you know it's going to be a little on the pricey end for right now. That's just how shit is. If it's the latest, it's the greatest. Well, this is the latest, the greatest, and it's got badass aftermarket overclocking and superior cooling. So with that said, I'm out of here. I'll see you guys later here on Tech of Tomorrow.